This is the Lewis structure for KRF4, krypton tetrafluoride. For KRF4, we have a total of 36 valence electrons. Krypton's the least electronegative. We'll put that at the center, and then we'll put the fluorines around it. We have 36 valence electrons. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds, and then we're going to go around the fluorines to fill their octets or until we run out of valence electrons. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, and 32. So we've used 32. Everything has an octet now, but we have a total of 36 valence electrons that we need to place in the KRF4 Lewis structure. So what we'll do is place the remaining four, those two pairs of valence electrons, on the central krypton, right there, and we'll put them right there. And that'll give us more than eight valence electrons around the krypton, but that's okay. Krypton's below period two on the periodic table, row two, and it can have more than eight valence electrons. In this case, it will have 12 valence electrons. And if you check the formal charges, each of these atoms will have a formal charge of zero. So this is the Lewis structure for KRF4, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.